you can run into a problem with TypeScript when you start trying to deal with uh, optional arguments that you want to be optional in some cases and op not optional in others. Here we've got a send event function which takes in the event type, which is this event type up here, and an optional payload. And this payload is not really optional because we need to pass it when we pass login, but not pass it when we pass sign out, as you can see here. And these ones should error because we shouldn't even be able to pass like an empty payload here. Uh, we should not be able to pass an incorrect payload. So how do we handle this? How do we make the function arguments different case by case? Well, I'm going to do a little bit of, um, here's one I created earlier. This send event now takes in a generic, which is the event type. And here we do some crazy stuff based on that type. We extract out the event and we extract out the event and the ones matching this. So essentially this, we check if there's a payload there and we infer the payload. And if there is a payload on the event type that we've specified, we say these are the two arguments, type and T payload. Otherwise, it's just type. And this means that when we go to send an event, uh, whoops, send event, then we've got login or sign out. And based on the one we choose, let's say login, then we need to specify the payload and it's all auto-completed for us. But there's an issue here, which is like on the autocomplete, you actually have arg0 and arg1, which you don't want. So you can actually use a named tuple here. And you can say type, type, payload, payload, and this is type, type. And now what you'll see is it's properly um, registered as the name of the argument there. So it's kind of quite verbose, this syntax, but it's very, very useful in some specific cases.